She's laughing. Pa, what's the matter? Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, more. <coughs> These last few days, I've had this uneasy feeling. It'll soon be time for those five hoodlums I put in jail three years ago to be released on parole. Uh, I'm afraid they might come here. Pa, why should they? You were just doing your job. You were the sheriff then. That's all. Anyway, they've no idea where we are. Pa, don't worry so much. Now take a rest. <sighs> We've any medicine left. It's run out. I better go to the pharmacy and get some more. That's all right. It's getting rather late. You can go tomorrow. Never mind. I will be back soon. Oh, just be careful. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh? Huh? What's the matter? Uh, is there a guy called Tong lives around here? He used to be the sheriff. Oh, he's a good friend of the pharmacist. Why not go and ask him? Oh, thank uh -huh. you. Come on. Excuse me. Huh? Would you happen to know where Mr. Tong lives? Why do you want to know? Uh, we're just old friends passing through. Oh, that young woman happens to be his daughter. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks. Uh -huh. so. uh.
What are you doing here? Worried. You should be. We planned a surprise. <laughs> Strange how people say the world's a small place. People's paths crossing. Jared, don't you think it's strange? Look, all I did was arrest you three years ago. What business do you have here? Let's not waste any time. Brother, even though three years have passed, the sheriff ain't changed a bit. <laughs> Just the same. If you had been smart, you'd have taken the money off her and let us go. You'd be rich, with nobody the wiser. And you'd have earned some important friends. Brother, <laughs> ain't I right? Uh. St. Jotin, you fellows are criminals and always will be. They shouldn't let bastards like you out. Please, gentlemen, father is sick. Be considerate. Come back again tomorrow. Well, doesn't he have a nice daughter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pop, how long has it been now since you had a woman? Right. I'll go first. You come after her. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Wait. Uh, hey, neighbor! Jerry, we're just paying you back. You understand. Help! 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 God damn you! Hey, Leave her alone! I must go. I won't be away long. Once I've got them all, I shall return to be with you. Lady, forgive me if I just look into your face. Lady. Lady, your eyes look troubled. They show deep anger and a certain cruelty. 
from what I suspect, you won't stay here. You're up to something. And it does not seem a very pleasant venture. Uh-huh. Lady, there's something else I don't know whether I should tell you. Go on. Oh, uh, um, lady, you have cruel eyes. You know you could kill somebody. Me kill? Mm. Only God knows. But everyone's destiny is written. Lady, please learn to forgive and forget. But what is it? that I have to forgive. If you allow your anger to take control of you, you will be in danger. <laughs> but I hope that I might be wrong. Please forget what I said. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Right. I have something to ask you. It's far too crowded in here. Why don't you ask the manager? Maybe he can help you. Lady, I really must be going. Thank you. Ah. Killer? Waiter. Uh, yes, coming. <laughs> uh, yes, miss. What can I do for you? The bill. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, it's three dollars. Ah. Oh, you can put it down on my account, huh? Um, ah. Oh. Um, Go on. Uh, uh, right. Hey, hey, listen, hey, hey, the girl over there, uh, I've not seen her before. She wants credit. Uh, will you give it to her? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> Lady, <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't give credit here. Uh, Three dollars isn't much. You may as well pay in cash. Right, I'll pay. <laughs> Lady, I realize now you're Mr. Holmes' friend. Why didn't you tell me? You're welcome. Please sit here. <laughs> Mr. Hung is my uncle. Huh? Tell me. Uh, would you happen to know where he lives? Ah, uh -huh, yes. Uh, walk out of here and take the first left. You'll soon cross a small bridge. And then turn first right and you'll arrive at his dockyard. Uh, move it over there. Go to town. Excuse me, this dockyard owned by Mr. Ho? That's right. Lady, who are you looking for? I want to see your boss. Huh? May I ask your name? Someone asked me to bring a message to him. Oh, lady, I will be blunt. Our boss is a very busy man. What's more, he never sees strangers. I'll take the message. Don't worry, I will pass it on to him. Listen, mister, Mr. Hung's my uncle. It's been a long time. I want to see him personally. Oh, lady, why didn't you say so before? Come on. Just over there. Hey, boss, the girl's over there. I've never met her before. Huh. Tell her I'm not in. All right. 
Come on. Excuse me. Which one of you is called home? Lady, I'm sorry. It's not your lucky day. But Mr. Hung just went out. Don't give me that. I know that he's here. It's most important I see him. Where is he? Look, I just told you he'd gone out. And why should our boss see you? He doesn't even know you. But I know him well. Listen to me. Because I'll only say it once. Me and Hung have got a date. I'm here for revenge. If you're in the way, then I'll have to deal with you too. Well, young lady, what's so important? You must see me. You can tell me I'm listening. And watch what you're doing. Or you won't leave. Right, Mr. Hung. I'd like to thank you for showing yourself. Ten years ago, you murdered Mr. Tong and my sister. I have come for revenge. <laughs> You made the wrong choice when you walked into my dockyard. Hold it! Listen good. Give yourself up for a fair trial. Let the court decide your guilt. Unless you're prepared to confess your crimes, then I'll have to deal with you myself. <laughs> you're talking nonsense. You've had it. You're a foolish woman. Coming to see me alone. Lady, you're gonna die! <laughs> Go and tell Cam. Uh, uh, go on, move it now. Uh, yes, Bob. Hey! Uh. 
tell me. You gonna give yourself up or not? <laughs> I've killed somebody. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy yourself. Uh, <laughs> Please, do come here soon again. The girls always miss me. If I came off and I'd have no money left. You know that? Uh, how can you say that? You're always welcome. Uh, mm, <laughs> come on, this way. Come on, girl. Is, uh, thank you. My, uh, well, my regular hair. I got that. <laughs> Please come in, mister. How are you? <laughs> Hello there. It's good. Huh? We're full. <laughs> come on, girl. Why don't you look after the new guest? Oh, the master said not to go into any calls. Huh? I don't know what's got into them. They've locked themselves up together. All they're doing is talking. I wonder what's going on. Oh. Who are they in there? I don't know. But it must be serious. Mm, I wonder. Brother, what's got into you? You're acting like a woman. We've had to face many problems before, but they've all worked out. So why should we be worried about one girl? Mm -hmm. Right. Brother, we have all prospered well enough in our separate ventures. We shouldn't let this worry us. Come on, let's drink. Mm -hmm. I always regret what we did then. We should never have killed those two people. I knew that one day it would come back to haunt us. Brother, I know what you'll say. Two of us have to die in return. I gather this young woman knows her kung fu. She's a strong fighter. Hey, nonsense. After all, she's only a girl. <laughs> 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 Wait. Brother, don't be so rash. Just think of what happened to Hong. Ah, I'm not afraid of her. Brother, are you suggesting that if that girl shows up, we should run away? Don't be so stupid. We can't let her scare us. Mm -hmm. Don't be so cocksure. Ever since we killed those two, I have known a moment's peace. I knew one day I'd have to pay for it. Oh, uh, brother, you've really changed, haven't you? What's got into you? You've lost all your guts, huh? <laughs> hey, can't you see he has turned into a law-abiding citizen, huh? <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> You do well to heed my advice. This is no joke. Oh, well, I've stayed here long enough. I'd better be going. Hey, brother, hey! Brother! God, God damn it. He spoiled the mood. Hey, it's funny. He's changed a lot. He's a real old woman. Brother, we better tell the boss first. <laughs> Brother, don't say the girl's got you scared. Why should we tell the boss? Come on, let's drink. Hey, it's getting late. I have to go. Hey, brother, come back here. If I don't leave here now, my girl will start getting worried. <laughs> <laughs> Miss 
Mr. Duck, there was a long neck. Yes, on. Mr. You, one of our Thank best you. customers. <laughs> hey, Mr. Come back soon, huh? You bet you. <laughs> Turn around. Get your ass up here. Come on, hurry. Coming. Yes, lady. Well, what can I do for you? I want to see your boss. Uh, you want to see our boss? Mm. Well, what is your name? Tong. Uh, to Tong? Uh, uh, Miss Tong? I'm afraid he's not in. But I'll tell him you came. Oh? Then can you tell me where he is? Uh, I don't know. Why not come again tomorrow? All right. What is it? I have a question to ask you. Where is Mr. Cam at the moment? Huh? Uh, I don't know. Ah, oh, but you just said you would tell him that I called here. Uh, y yes, I did. I think it's about time you talk straight to me. Uh, Miss Tong, why should I lie? I, I never tell a lie. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> I'll have to use some persuasion. <laughs> if you don't talk, I'll snap your neck like a rat. Talk! Uh, 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 all right. Uh, all right. All right. <sighs> <sighs> Hey, lady, uh, you looking for a job here? A job? Yeah. Lady, if you do just what I say and stay here, in half a year, you'll be our most popular girl. Oh? Popular girl? Yeah! You'll have a life of luxury, plenty of fine clothes and good food, and lots of money. <laughs> You're a dumb bastard. Who the hell did you take me for talking like that? Uh, no need to be angry with me. Please forget what I said. I want the girl Shao Tao Hong. Uh, uh, Shao Tao Hong? I'll call her out. All right. Uh, I'll find her myself. Uh, <laughs> lady, she has a customer now. You can't go in there. <laughs> Uh, lady. Uh, 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 now tell me what room number? Uh, 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 u
upstairs, third room on the right. <laughs> You know why I'm here.
Oh, stand back. Oh, Let me know. Oh, oh. My God, he's dead. Oh. oh. What do you want here? I want to have a word with your boss. Oh, you want to see the boss? Uh, follow me. Yes. Hey, boss. A lady to see you. Here she is. Lady, this is our box. <laughs> Do you remember the Tong family? <laughs> I see. So you are Miss Tong. I have been expecting you. You have killed two of my brothers, haven't you? I suppose you think you're a pretty good fighter. However, Miss Tong, you're no match for me. Hold it, Fao Pa Chin. Listen, I don't really want to have to kill you. Give yourself up and you'll get a fair trial for your crime. And I will let you live. You should talk big. What makes you think I would ever listen to you? Let's see how good you really are. Yeah.
So, you've decided to remain. Hmm. Why don't you go away from here? For a short time. Return when it's over. Why ask for trouble? Isn't there anything I can do to help? Maybe I could give her money. It's not your affair. You don't know. Now go and pack everything. Right now? Yes. I don't want the boy to be around. If you stay, how do you expect me to just leave you alone? I can't do it. This is my affair. What I did before, I regret, and now I must pay for it. It's hopeless. My dear. <laughs> Remember what I have told you. Make sure our son behaves himself always. Now go and pack your things. You must hurry. Huh? There, my dear. I suppose you're Miss Tom. Yes. Yes, Please. I am. <laughs> Please, come in. La Wei, don't try any tricks. I'm sure you understand why I've come here. Yes, I regret what happened. I've tried to be good since then. I vowed to lead a decent life. You left it too late. I've come for my revenge. It's the end of the road. Miss Tong, think for a moment. When I heard Hung was killed, I could have escaped from you. I had the time, but I didn't. Because I wanted to meet you and say sorry. Good. At least you admit to your crime. I suppose you realize only two of you remain alive, you and Sheng. You killed my father, and now you're going to pay! <laughs> I told you, I'm willing to pay back my debt. <laughs> right, you will. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Wanted. He'd be dead already. Miss? Way. Uh, Answer me one question honestly, and I will drop the matter. We'll call it quits. What do you want to ask me? Go ahead, ask me. Where is Sheng Xiaoqin living now? Uh, 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 Shang Town. Huh? Uh, Shang Town. Lao Wei, is that the truth? Uh, um, that's the truth. Betray me. Master Shang, don't be angry. He's changed a lot. He's lost all his courage. He's not worth worrying about. For all these years, he wanted to be clean. So he never came to visit me. He didn't even come near this town. I forgave him that because we were brothers once years ago. But I never thought since then that he would betray me. Master Shang. That's just what I said since you've been brothers all this time. <laughs> why, why don't you forget all about it now? <laughs> Mr. Two's got a point. After all, you've your reputation to consider. You've a house, good food, and a good life. Don't throw it away just to get even. Let's forget it. We'll have no more killing. <laughs> <laughs> we all enjoy the good life, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shank, what I say, <laughs> what I say, You talk one more time. I'll send you to get him. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, boss. I'm sorry. I, I'm such a fool. I'm such a fool. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, boss. Jing Kong? Yep. Pow. Yep. Go to Hing Lung Town and bring Law Wei back. Mr. Shang asked us to invite you. 
Mr. Shank. Oh. <laughs> it's been a long time. Does he still remember me? Oh, you can tell him that I'm busy right now. But I'll come in a couple of days or so. <laughs> Mister, our boss expressly told us we were to take you back with us. We have to do just what he told us. <laughs> just take my message back to him. I'm sure he'll understand how things are. Mister, think again. Why should I? You'd better come with us if you know what's good for you. Mm, and what... Uh... If I refuse to go with you? <laughs> that would be most unwise of you. You'll see. Don't sleep, son. What is going on? What are you doing? Go inside. Go inside, woman. Go on. What's going on? What are you going to do? All right. Let's go go inside. Hey, leave us. Actually, with a man like yourself, there really is no proper cure. But since I am a doctor, I have to do my duty. Understand? You give up your life of crime, learn to lead a decent life. Go off now. <gasps> I'll give you a prescription. It's free of charge. Only this time. Tell me, you wouldn't happen to be Dr. Crook? I'm Dr. Kwok. What can I do for you? Uncle Kwok, my father's Tong Chin Cheng. I'm a new Tong. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I, uh, I knew you've grown into a big girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my dear, come out here. <laughs> you see, this young woman is a new Tong, and this is your auntie. Auntie, sir, you are a new. Come, come inside and have a rest. Thank you. This time, I've not come just to visit both of you. 
I'm also looking for a man. Uh, looking for a man? Uh, who's that? Sheng Shao Chin. Uh, but Miss Tong. I have to revenge my father's murder. Good. Mm. You did well. So they're both dead. That's good, I'm glad. Uh, uh, Mr. Shane! Uh, hmm? uh, Mr. Shane, there's something strange. A young lady just come to town. She's looking for you. A young lady? I heard Dr. Kwok call her Miss Tong. What's that? A Miss Tong? Well, where is she? She's at Dr. Kwok's dispensary. Mm hmm. Hmm. You go over there now. Oh, yes. You remember me? <laughs> of course I do, my dear. What brings you out here today? I have nowhere else to go. My home is lying in ruins. Will you please take me in? <laughs> of course you're welcome. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. What happened to your place? A young lady called Miss Tong came to my place and murdered Cam. So the police closed it down. My business is ruined. <laughs> and I've come to you. You reckon she's talking about the same girl? Yeah. And did she wear ponytails? Wait. Mr. Cheng, this girl knows how to look after herself. She's highly skilled in Kung Fu. She walked in right straight to Cam and killed him. Hmm. Well, you leave her to me. You can make yourself at home. I'll care for you probably. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Mr. Shang, you wouldn't hurt anybody. Aren't <laughs> I right in saying that, Madam Shang? Hmm? <sighs> Come, Madam Shang, let's all have a drink. Hmm? Why don't you drink? Thank you. I don't feel like it. Ah. As you wish. If you don't want to drink with me. Hey, drink it, drink it. Don't be rude in front of our guests. I won't. You can drink it all. Damn it! Are you a person to obey me? I won't. Mr. Shank, please don't be angry. Let's forget about it. If she doesn't want to, it's no matter. After all, people should be free, shouldn't they? Who do you think you are, barging into my home? Who do I think I am? I think you'd better ask your husband. A long time ago, he and I were friends. I was a virgin then, but I can assure you that I am not now. What's wrong with a virgin? At least they're clean, not like a prostitute. Which is what you are. All right, all right, all right. Have you finished yet? Uh, how could she? She called me a prostitute. Mr. Shang, you heard her yourself say that to me. Well, I'd better be going. I shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. For troubling you? Hey. <laughs> Mr. Shank, please let me go. I know you are kind, and I'll never forget you. But I cannot stay here and let her insult me, calling me such names. <laughs> I didn't tell you to go. You're still my guest. Drink. She shows no consideration, stupid woman. Huh? Madam! 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 God damn it! Madam! Ah, oh, Mr. Shang. 
Uh, please don't be angry because of her. You will be upset. <laughs> I want you happy. <laughs> <laughs> you do me good. You know how to please. <laughs> <laughs> more polite to me. Remember, I'm the only doctor in this town. Hey, go and ask Master Shug to come. Dr. Quark, sit down. Why did Mr. Shing ask me to come? How should I know? You will have to ask him yourself. How should I know? Where's Mr. Shank? Mr. Shank's inside. Huh? Don't, don't go in there. They're both there. What's that? A woman's in there? Yes, that woman who arrived today. Ah. Mr. Shank, Mr. Shank. Don't Mr. Shank. What's the matter? Dr. Quark's arrived. God damn it. Mr. Shang, come back here quickly. I'll be waiting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shang, uh, Dr. Quark's here like you were. Ah, ah, uh, uh, Why the hell didn't you make the old fool wait a while? What are you looking at, dirty old man? <laughs> huh. Dr. Guac, I gather that you had a visitor today. Yes, an old friend. Oh, why did she come? Mr. Shing, you should know the reason she's here. Right. We can speak frankly together. For many years, this town has been a peaceful place and it's prospered. But now that prosperity is threatened. <laughs> and I think you can do something to help us out. Something to help? But what can I do? I want you to tell her to leave here in three days and never show her face here again. And if she refuses, <laughs> then she'll be killed. She's got three days. I've heard what you said. But I don't like it. Dr. Quack, you just think it over. <laughs> What's so funny? Our life on Earth is all too short. No one can escape from death. It comes to us all in the end. I am a doctor. I've seen too much death to be frightened by it. You don't scare me. <laughs> Really, you aren't afraid to die. And you refuse to help. <laughs> what Miss Tong does is her affair, not my business. Why you... Uh, uh, Mr. Sheng, uh, Dr. Kwok, if I can suggest an alternative. There's no future in being stubborn. You don't want to die so soon. Oh. And what do you have in mind? Uh, Dr. Kwok, you are a clever man. My boss has made a simple request. It should be easy for you to carry out. You should be honored that he has asked you. And if the boss ever asks me to do something, I do it immediately. I'm sure you do. And do you know why you do it? Uh, why is that? Because you're a dog. Get out. 
Huh? A dog? Huh? Master Sheng. Huh? Master Sheng, get... Mm -hmm. Listen, Quark. Don't forget what happened to Lao Wei. He's an example. You think it over. There's no need. You're the one who should think it over. Killing people, raping young girls. You... you you're not human. You. <laughs> right. Chen Fu, take him. Please. Do you want Dr. Kwok, I want to have the record completely straight. One more time. Will you or won't you? I... I refuse. Right. Okay. Dr. Quack, have you changed your mind? Are you really not scared of death? Chen Chao Chin, I tell you this. I'm proud to be a man of honor. I'm not frightened. I'm men like you. I fear only that I will not die bravely. God damn it! You will die! Uh, uh, Mr. Shane. Good that she's dead. All that you manage, everything about the farm. I don't want you to bother me. Your concern. Uh, Master Sheng, thank you, boss. You're very kind to me. Uh, don't you worry. I'll see the farm turns a big profit. I won't let you down, Master Sheng. Mm, good. No, all I gotta worry about is how to deal with Miss Tong. Uh, Master Sheng, we don't need to be worried by a young girl. We'll get rid of her like we did Lao. Mm. Mr. Shane! Mr. Shane! Mr. Shane! What's up? Mr. Shane, Cox's Pantry. It hasn't opened for business. And I haven't noticed anyone come out. How about Miss Tong? I've not seen her. Maybe the doctor got back and told her what she said, so she's gone. Mm. She wouldn't. She's dead set and seen me. Seen anyone come in? No one, boss. No, no one. one. No, no one. What's that then? Huh? I, I don't know. You fool! Uh -huh.
wouldn't by any chance be Miss Tom. I am. Sheng Sha Chin, I have been looking for you. <laughs> Miss Tong, you want to get your revenge? Well, what do you want with me? Tell me. Right. You killed my father and sister. I'll never forget that. And you must pay for it. And now, Dr. Croc, I'm going to be happy killing you. Fine. You think you're pretty good. Let's see how good you are. Because I have been expecting you. Sheng Chao Chin, you do have a choice. Give yourself up to the police and confess your crime, and I'll overlook it. <laughs> <laughs> you young pup, Tufu, finish her up. <laughs> Which one hurt Dr. Kwok? I did. And who killed Lao Wei and his wife? I did too. Good. Then I'll deal with you first. Who's not bad? Bastard, I'm gonna kill you now. Madam Spring. Hmm? Madam Spring, come out here. I want to talk to you. You bastard. Come in here to talk. Oh, please, madam, come out for a moment. Only for a moment. I've got some news I want to tell you. Oh, you've some news. Hmm. Well, then tell me what it is. Shh. Please, you mustn't speak so loud. Master Shang is nearby. Why are you so scared? Hey, come over here and I'll tell you. Come here. All right, all right. Come on. Quickly, what is the news? <laughs> yes, yes. Come on, speak up. <laughs> yes, yes. Madam Spring, I... Uh, Come on, quickly out with it. <laughs> you, you and I, we will elope. Do you agree? What? You went off with me? I see. Try to pull my leg. Uh, 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 I promise you, I'm being absolutely serious. I swear it on my heart. Any more? Uh, uh, also, if you are willing, 
I will wait on you hand and foot, anything you like. I'll give you the best food, lovely clothes, and at night I'll massage you, rub you down. Fine. You can stand up. <laughs> I'd like to go with you, but first... Uh, whatever you say, just tell me. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to the boss. I must tell him. Uh, Madam Spring, now you're trying to pull my leg, aren't you? Master Shen will kill me. He'll kill you? Yeah. Then you better behave yourself. Uh, Madam Spring, I... I yes, what is it? Uh, nothing, really. Uh, you should have a look in a mirror. Uh, Giving herself such airs. Nothing but a haw. One day I'll trap her. Ernie, take a rest now. Later on, you will recover. Uh, thank you, Uncle. Go on, rest now. Have you seen Madam Spring? Uh, no, I haven't. God damn it. Where can she be at so late an hour? Uh, Master Shang, I think uh, I know where she could be, but I don't want to make you angry. Don't be stupid. Speak up. <laughs> What's that? Young uh, lady! Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Master Shang, even if you should torture me, you wouldn't believe me. I'll have to take you there. All right. Come on. Master Shang. <laughs> Tushan, enjoy yourself. Come out here, you whore. <laughs> Please forgive me. Forgive me. Oh. <laughs> Master Shang. Tushan, now tell me this. What should I do to you now? Uh, I. Oh, Master Shang, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, the boss is asking you a question. Why don't you answer him? You're usually a clever talker. What's wrong with your tongue? Huh? Talk! Uh, Master Shang, I beg you, please have mercy. Find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, Master, please, will you? I will never forget what a kind man you are. <laughs> I am kind. <laughs> and this is how you repay me for my kindness? God damn you, I always treated you very well. I even let you manage the farm for me. Now you take my girl. Want to manage her? Uh, Master Shang, wait. Really, it wasn't my fault. Don't blame me. It's, it's all her fault. Over what me. is that? Uh, Tushan, uh, how could you put the blame on me? How could you think so low? Master Shang, I admit that I have been a prostitute. But even I have a moral sense. This wretched man forced his attentions on me. Huh? I tried to struggle, but then he threatened to kill me. Uh, shut up! You're nothing but a worthless whore, and you'll never change. It's time your life presented. Bring them out. Sir. 
Master Sheng, forgive me. Forgive me this time, please. Uh, uh, Come on, Mr. Uh, Melvin. Uh, Master Sheng, Master Sheng. Uh, Get him out. Uh, no, no, please. Please let me be. Just this once. Please, Master Sheng. Master Sheng. Master Sheng. That am horror. You double-crossed me, you... <laughs> <laughs> Mister, you might have got yourself to blame. No one asked you to do it. You are finished now. Don't worry. I'll make sure you die nice and slowly. <laughs> oh, don't bother wasting your words on me. You know better than I am. <laughs> Mr. Shang! Mr. Shang! Mr. Shang! <laughs> Lady, you were lucky last time. You escaped alive. But you won't get away from me this time. Get her! <laughs> Come on, hurry! Hey, 